Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Stagg. I'm a naturopathic physician, um, clinical director for um, Whole Health Wellness Center in Avon. Today, I want to talk to you about magnesium and the stress response. So magnesium is an essential mineral, meaning we must get it from our, our diet. Uh, the problem is nearly 50% of adults in the United States aren't getting enough magnesium. Older adults are particularly more vulnerable to magnesium deficiency due to issues with absorption. Other factors that can impact our magnesium levels are the prevalence of obviously processed foods in the diet, but also low magnesium levels in the soil. So even though we feel, you know, we can be eating really healthy, eating a lot of uh, foods that are good sources of magnesium, they may not actually have that much magnesium in them. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant cation in the body and the second most abundant intracellular cation. So that this is inside the cell where most of the activity takes place. More than 300 different enzymes uh, require magnesium as a cofactor. It's needed for protein, DNA, and RNA synthesis, for cell growth and reproduction, also for energy storage and production and stabilizing the cell membrane. Now, magnesium also helps maintain normal nerve function and muscle function um, and helps keep our bones strong. Now, magnesium deficiency on its own doesn't induce specific pathology. Instead, it reduces the body's tolerance to secondary stress. So here's this stress piece. Acute stress has been shown to be associated with increased plasma magnesium levels and increased urinary magnesium excretion. So the shift of magnesium from the intracellular to the extracellular space initially plays a protective role in order to diminish the adverse effects of stress. It's extended periods of stress that result in progressive magnesium deficits and detrimental effects for health. So what is the role of magnesium in the HPA access? Magnesium really helps to modify the stress response via reducing the secretion of ACTH, modulating adrenal corticotropic sensitivity to ACTH, thereby preventing stress hormones also from entering the brain. Now, in chronic stress, when uh, there's a lot of exposure to chronic stress and a combined magnesium deficiency, HPA access is unable to respond efficiently. A person's magnesium status is highly associated with stress levels, and stress and hypomagnesia potentiate each other's negative effects. So what are some of the ultimate consequences? Um, hyperactivation of the HPA axis and persistent elevated cortisol levels cause neur neurons to demyelinate, degrade, and eventually even die. Clinically, a dysregulated HPA access may contribute to hyperemotionality in magnesium deficient patients. As a side note, magnesium increases GABA levels in the body and can promote improved sleep quality. And we all know how important sleep is to rege the regeneration process. So what's the answer? Even eating more magnesium, as I discussed, uh, magnesium-rich foods may not solve the problem due to these issues with uh, soil depletion. So obviously supplementation may be recommended, but the form of magnesium is extremely important. What we do know is that consumption of plant-based magnesium is associated with a higher CSF level uh, than other popular forms of magnesium, including magnesium threonate and bisglycinate. Magnesium citrate doesn't even show up in appreciable levels in um, the cerebrospinal fluid. So bottom line, it's more important to use a plant-based magnesium supplement.